Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. It's time to make char cloth again. The video that I made yesterday, the reason I used a small piece of char cloth to make that video is because I'm pretty much out and all I have are small pieces that are left. Good. We'll make up some more char cloth. Let's make up three cans of it. The most reactive char cloth that you could possibly use is when it's clean and supple. That's why I have such a big hole in my char tin. I want those gases to be able to easily escape. You know, to make fire, you've got to have heat and fuel and oxygen. And we're cutting off the oxygen when we do this and carbonizing this punk wood and the denim material. So let's go ahead and line all three cans with some punk wood. I'm going to get you closer. We are ready to start our fire. Not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to use the ferro rod and some pine needles. But I do have a bunch of materials that I wanted to get rid of. Like, I need to get rid of all of this stuff. So let's just use all this extra tinder to get our oak started. There's some tulip poplar barks. Keychain fire rod, bayite, make a hole right in the center of the pine needles. And I call that a one strike ignite, even though it took three scratches of the fair rod. All right, the first gas that will come out of there is gonna be water vapor. And after that, the flammable gases like methane and some of the other gases, many times they'll go ahead and ignite. But when all the flames and all the smoke stops coming out of that vent hole, we know to take it off take it out of the fire and let it completely cool before we try to open that can. Let's go ahead and cook these last two cans at the same time.
All right, that first can, let's take a look at what's in there. It'll be hard to show you. 10 pieces of denim char cloth. Supple, fairly clean. There should be a little sheen on these, so it might have just a little bit of smoke residue on it. You know, it just feels, it feels nice and soft and supple and clean. Wood. I've never had a problem with the punk wood when I make it this way. The charred punk wood. All right, let's go ahead and try a piece of our char cloth. Oh, this really feels soft. This is right. This should ignite very well and burn very well too. Tear it in half to expose those threads. Lay each half directly on top of one another. Stick the thready end about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge. And I am good to go with 30 pieces of char cloth and a lot of good charred punk wood. Alright y'all, do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.